When I am weak, that's when I'm strong. What a paradoxical statement. How can I be strong if I'm weak? The difference is, friends, when I'm weak in my human strength, then I'm strong, truly able, truly powerful, truly drawing from God's strength. That's right. That's what 2 Corinthians 12 from verses 9 and 10 say. You know, Paul writing to the Corinthian church so clearly says, so I am well pleased with weaknesses in verse 10. That's right. You should find it pure joy in our weaknesses, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions, with difficulties for the sake of Christ. Are you being persecuted? Are you being ridiculed for the stand you've taken? Friends, I've got good news. You may be feeling weak. You may be feeling so-called left in the cold. And it's a lonely place to be in. Just because of the stand you took. Friends, I want to say again, never compromise. Because today's compromise will be tomorrow's captivity. If you feeling this, the stress and strain, just hang in there, friends. Look what Paul says. For when I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. See, friends, weak, yes, you drained out of that physical strength, that human strength. The people around you are needling you. They've got daggers out. The knives are out, as they would say. Friends, that's when God steps in. He sends the Holy Spirit to be your comforter, to be your guide, to be your counselor, to be your intercessor. That's what the function of the Holy Spirit is, is is a person. That's right. We got to find that. We got to enjoy it. We got to experience it. Friends, you are not alone. Keep standing. Keep being bold for Jesus Christ. Without compromising your standards, your position that you took, that God ordained. Because your steps are ordered by God and He's delighting in your ways. Don't stop that. Don't backtrack. Don't back down. Because His grace is sufficient for you. That's what chapter uh, chapters 12 of 2 Corinthians verse 9 says. My grace is sufficient for you. My loving kindness, my mercy is more than enough. Always available as the Amplified Version states. Regardless of the situation, my power is being perfected and completed and shows itself most efficiently in your and my weaknesses. Aren't you glad, friends? that God's glory manifests through our weaknesses. Amen. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. We may be down and feeling out, but Daddy, that's what the devil wants us to believe and feel. We may be down, but we never out because we know our trust, our faith, And our entire being is in you, Lord. And your grace and your mercy is there for us. Father, into your strong hands we place our weak hands today. Pick us up. That's what you're doing. Let us walk with you. In fact, Dad, some of us are so weak, we are already cuddled up in your arms and you are carrying us through these difficult situations. Times of sicknesses, times of financial stress, times of business stress, and even, Lord, our learners out there, Lord, that are going to going through so much of stress, I pray and declare in Jesus' name that today strength has come the way, grace has come the way, and I pray and I speak and declare over them great grace. Indeed, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Friends, for when I am weak, 
that's when I'm strong. My time's up again. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.